All right, dog. You ready to make a rat or what? I'm ready, dude. I'm ready to build it from scratch. Yep. All right, we just got to get our own... Um... Heck, I don't even know how you make a rat. That's news to me. You just dig it out of the ground in Russia, don't you? That's what I think. Yeah. Whoa, nice work, dog. That yeah, was quick. That was tough stuff. Yeah, that was good. That thing looks good, dude. I like it, man. Should we pull it out New of this style. Uh, plastic thing? Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's place it up here on the table. Our little workbench for the next, you know, four hours. So this thing gets picked up. I got her there. All right. So we're going with a new rat design this year. Uh, I'm into it. It's a little more of a rectangle shape, less of a square. Fits the fans side by side instead of the diagonal. Fits in the car a little better. It fits it's actually slicker. really good. Oh yeah, into it. So, as you can see, this thing is for a different car. Trains cooling passages. Going to cut those off, get that stuff out of the way, and then we're going to show you how to mod this thing from single pass to a triple pass. Ever done triple pass, dog? Actually, no. Have you ever done dual pass? Uh, I bought one dual pass. Well, we're going to find out. <laughs> So yeah, we're gonna hog this thing out and make this, it work. This is new for me too, so we're all learning together. Well, good thing I know how to do it, you know how to weld, and we'll be set. I can't wait to weld something. Yeah. I mean, I'll weld it, but you'll be chasing leaks all day, so. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I'm fine with that. We're gonna weld it the first time, and it's not gonna leak. That's right. Well, yeah, you're gonna I weld know. it, and it's not gonna leak. Yep. Got your new welding helmet, dude. Yeah. Yeah. You Come brought, brought your own model. That's right, dude. She's, uh, she, she's a dime stacker. Yeah, well, I was sick of her staring at us while we're working here, so we covered her up. So, yeah, for a triple pass, you push a hot water into here. Okay. Queer, um, crazy theory, huh? Weird. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, from the engine up into here, and then you drop a plate right here. So, you do a little three-sided cut, and you slide a plate. You might actually have to open it up a little bit. The idea is to get it between the two runners, right? So as we open this up, you'll see the two passages, the water actually flows through these runners left to right. So we're gonna cut right in between them, slide a plate in there and just weld the three sides. And that's all you gotta do. It's not 100% sealed, a little bit of water will get through, but you're not gonna be able to weld to the core. It doesn't matter. You're gonna send 90% of the water straight across the red. So now we're going over to this side and then you drop a plate in right here, yonder now. And so now that water is going to come over and come back over. Three passes, two plates. Um, yeah, so one here in the upper third, one down here, lower third. So, and back out over here. You ready for that? I'm ready to weld something and cut something. AKA yes. AKA yes! So. Yeah. Did you done dicker that up already? No. Looks like it. Ooh, magnet. Woo! To get all the metal shavings out of your aluminum rod, dude. They're like, are you guys gonna blow up your motor? <laughs> no. 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 Never no. happened before in my life, dude. Yeah, <clears throat> but um, yeah, that should be cool. So. Yeah, I'm pumped. I'm trying to figure out the best way to get these things out. I do want to either section this to make a little more room, uh, so this ride sits a little further back in the car. So I'm, I'm thinking mean, section it, like, you know, bring it down to this width. Basically, just skinny it up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, just just to take that little three quarter of an inch off. Okay. You know, move this thing back just a little bit more. So we could do that. We could punch this hole right here, up, you know, in a little 45 action. Okay. And then um, we could start. We could push this stuff out the bottom. Because this okay. stuff's got to come out. You just have to cut it on the back side and just cap these. Uh, yep. Yep. Yeah. Or you can hole saw those. So get yourself and a hole saw. It's about that big. Punch right through the middle. And then. That would probably be yeah. the sweetest deal. Yep. And those and that, will fall that out. That thing will literally just fall out. Yep. You just got to have a big enough hole in the bottom. So like I said, I already want to section it. So I'm thinking that we just do that. Like I said, it'll just pick us up that little bit of room. So usually a hole saw has got a quarter inch bit. That's like the pilot, right? Mm -hmm. So it looks like we're going to get lucky and hopefully that that right there, a quarter inch bit will fit just it's right through that little guy in there. Right in there. There it is. And then we can just, I have some hole saws in my toolbox. Yeah, you're the whole dozer, dude. I hope you have some hole saws. You're the whole dozer, dude. How are you going to live up to the name? HD. Hey, dude. Cool. I'm ready.
Yeah. Okay. So, to further explain what's happening here, Dylan is struggling because he is a weak. Shut up, Chris. Dude. This is <clears throat> But anyway, aside from this guy, so you can see I got some marks on here. Yeah. Did you hurt yourself there, dog. So, water flowing in hits this block off plate. So we're gonna run the saw right through that. We pull this cap off so we can put the vacuum on there so we can do some suction and pull aluminum shavings through there when we cut it so we don't get them stuck in the runners and clog anything up. So then we come across the rad, it drops down, comes back across this way thanks to this plate. So same thing, cut here, drop a plate in, weld it, three sides, all good, right in between the runners. Comes back across, boom, boom, back across here, third pass. And so this is what I was talking about. We're gonna knock this straight down, a little parallel action, take a little bit of width out so that we can have it sit a little further back from where our rear support tube is. We're going to then have a big gaping hole here so we can monster truck these two things out and pull this whole little automatic cooling. And what I really didn't, and what I didn't out, know whatever. is that like doing a plate like that, um, whenever it would come down and hit this, it can't go past that, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So that's what I didn't exactly understand. So the water's gonna come across like this and it can't flow through the rest of the radiator. So this line right here, it's just gonna cool it with this bit. It's gonna mm -hmm. turn around, it's mm -hmm. gonna flip a 180. Uh, having that is like its pivot. It's gonna flip a B. Flip a B. And then it's gonna flip a B one more time and come mm -hmm. back. And I honestly didn't know that. Uh, and I, uh, I and you I, have a dual pass right? you didn't know how it worked? No, I mean, <laughs> you know, I get that it would do the thing, but I didn't, you know, I never thought about it. Dude. Next year? But I didn't know that. Like, six pass rad. Dude, we can make this thing like a 42 pass. Juka, 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 juka. Yeah, just through each runner. Each single runner. <laughs> just play, 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 play. play, 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 play. But no, this, this, is a, this is a good move. This is a pretty typical move, actually, for hot rodders that have the inlet and outlet on the opposite sides. See, that's why yours is the same size. Sides. Mm hmm. Is it clicking yet, dog? Bing! All right, so. I just want to drill a hole in this thing. Not yet, dog. I know. All right, back to it. So, got your vacuum there. Yep. Yep. Ready to suck. Get some suction. Get some tape. Get some top lay. Top lay. Got your mind in the gutter. I live in the gutter, bro. <laughs> Welcome to my home. <laughs> All right. So yeah, let's. Yeah, are you let's... gonna cut it or mine? Dude, I'm gonna I'm gonna run this thing. If you're gonna weld it. I'm gonna cut it. Let me ruin this thing immediately. Deal. Um, It's perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, I see what you're doing. Never cut cardboard before, dude. Yeah. Can't be scratching it, and I think that's pretty much the only reason why we're doing this. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much it. Okay. Take pride in your ride, dude. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Okay. Especially your FD car. Here's Dr. Suction tube right here. Yeah, it's okay. If only, if only we had a video crew here. Mm, that's right. We can handle it. I was just making Whoa, sure. Oh, that sucked my shirt in, dude. <laughs>
All right, this is gonna be a two-man team, dude. No, nah, we're good. I'm saying like I, I can't hold this and see it. Oh, okay. A little blue tape, you know. No one to be too tight. Wanted to have a little bit of pull. Don't blow this, this vacuum up. Okay. All right. That's really noisy. Yeah. Dude, you're a ninja with that thing. Yeah. Noise cut night! Yeah, gotta run a second pass though. Oh, because the thickness of the material we're gonna put That's in there. That's right, dog. Okay. That's right. I see what you're saying. Ready? Round two. Dig that piece out of there. Mm -hmm. Unplug your shit. Mm -hmm. Alright. Cut that thing off. Nice. So then we got that little strippy in there. Yeehaw! See! So, um, we got both the sides cut. We got that side taped off because we had to get some suction on it. Uh, and then we now got this side opened up, which is cool. Mm -hmm. uh, now we're going to monster truck these holes out because boom, I, don't, I don't know if you can see it. There's like a little thingy inside of there. You can barely see it, but we'll get that out of here in a second. So, on to the next step! Oh yeah, whoa, suction! Oh, don't forget the suction. Hey! <laughs> Jeez. You're an annoying little thing, aren't ya? I was just like, all right, all right. Here's the good one. We're not screwing around anymore. All right, I'm getting my, my stuff down here. Yeah, you should. I'm really egging that hole out. It appears that we have the world's dullest uh, hole saw. Do a hole saw. I, I could have gone to the store and bought a new hole saw. At least this doesn't suck. Like staying there holding the camera? <laughs> hey man, I'm just trying to be efficient over here. Yeah, maybe. I mean, it'd be cool if he did. Normandy's probably got some hole saws. Normandy's gotta have some hole saws. He does, dude. The oh. one thing I know that Norm likes to do is hold those. Hold those er. What flavor oh, yeah, is yeah. it? This is a one and one half. Mm hmm. Churro sure is. Churro sure is. Get your weirdo. Hey, this thing's the best thing of all time. Mm hmm. Do 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 do
what? Uh, the, I was just saying. Oh, uh, the aluminum. Yeah, I thought you were like, look at how it <laughs> <laughs> clamps on to any size. <laughs> it grips its uh, thing. I don't know. I got nothing. Easy. You're going to get made fun of for uh, selling out, selling tools. I'm going to get made fun of no matter what, so I'm over that. Yeah, man. <laughs> join, join the club. I don't even care. <laughs> Where's the, uh, where'd it go? What'd you do with it? Do with what? Oh, this? <laughs> so I was like, what are you looking for, dude? It was in my hand. What do you mean? Hopefully, okay. this, hopefully this one's even more dull. <laughs> I mean, based on uh, <laughs> everything else we've dealt with. Dog, it's upside down. Huh? D's nut is upside down. Oh, that's not it. Oh, I didn't know it was just <laughs> like that. I didn't see it when I took it off. It's all good. <laughs> yeah, we're firing all cylinders, man. Yeah, we're, we're firing. Yeah. What we're, time is it anyway? We're, we're out of coffee. We're starving. Starving, Marvin. It is uh, 7.41. Wow. What? What are we doing, dude? Wait, 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 wait! Whew. Whoa. Whoa. Got you, dog. So we can't get that out until we cut this. Yep. That's all right. It's fine. So go ahead and finish. Uh, do we... Oh, I see. Yeah, good move. Word. Whoa. Hey. Yeah. I don't know what that is. Tape that. Tape that. Run that saw through. That'll fall out. Then we can cut that and that one will fall out. Yeah, word. Let's put this... Brand new tape right on here. Only been used twice. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows how tape works good the second time. <laughs> or the third time. <laughs> we all know how it works. All over that. Just a quick little piece there. Yeah. <laughs> Can't see your line now. You gotta know where to shh down. Oh, gonna cut it. My spoon is too big. Here, I got you. Whoa! Oh, nice catch. Yeah. That wasn't my fault, was it? Nope. It was not. No, that was me. Ugh. Yeah, good. Okay, ready for some noise? Where's your earmuffs? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you need those. I'm gonna set those gently right there. I'm gonna hold this. Mm -hmm. Got him. Got him. Safety third. Juice me up. I got the thingy. Ready? Oh, no, 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 no. oh. Power the suck. Oh, the noise. 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 Hey, Chris. Oh, yeah, dude. Cut a big hole in the red. We did it. That was a bad idea. Yeah. Well, it's not going to work at all like this. Oh, no. It's going to leak a little. Yeah, no, right. You, so, brought it, you got some JB Wild, right? Yeah, right. A lot of it. Okay. Yeah, this is a. Um... So we done did it. Yeah. So that's what we're working with. We got that little piece out. We just got to do cut this one out now. Mm-hmm. This thing will fall out. This guy that's up in there will fall out. No big deal. Okay. And yep. Yeah. And then we're going to uh, we said slide a plate right in there. And then we're gonna plate this. And then we'll cover this. And be good. And then eventually, add our little. A-N. You have to do A-N, right? Because yep. you're a baller. You're on A-N lines and everything. What, what size do you run? Dash. 20 and 16. I bet those fittings are cheap. Yeah, they sure are. <laughs> cool. But, uh, yeah. No, we're good. Let's, uh, we'll finish this up. And, but, yeah. Ever seen the inside of a ride before? No. There it is. <laughs> Suction. Pin it to win it. Whoa, almost fell. What you got there? Right toe. This is the plate. bottom. Bottom because bottom <laughs> of the wrap. So I just I kept flipping it. So gotcha. Throw bottom wrap. So no. yeah, you can see. Well, first off, here let's check this out. So yeah, put these two little notches in her, right? Round right those edges, nice and neat. Because like we said, we don't want to get too close to these fins and blow it out with the welder. So you just do that little notch, and she slides 
right into place. Look at that. Blocking that off. So, so I still got I still got around these edges right here. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna be like a slacker. Mm -hmm. And then I got this piece right here, which I haven't fit yet. And this mm -hmm. guy goes and around. Then she will just cap her on off then. I can't wait to lay some weldy up in there. Oh yeah. Across oh, there. Yeah. We'll count this guy. This is like I was talking about. We got a little notch out of her. This is still plenty wide to get our water outlet or inlet to the pump, whatever you want to call that. <clears throat> but um, yeah, so we took a little width off of there. We can get the rad sitting more where we want it. So I'm going to plate that guy and we're going to weld the ANs onto here. But we just wanted to give you a nice view of what's going on here and how to make a dual and or triple pass rad, dude. Boom. Yeah, I'm liking you, it. You do stuff. I'm liking it. Yeah. So, one more, one more trip. back to it, dude. Let's do it.